Hello there guys, it's Russian Prince, and I'm going to be doing the episode of this Let's Play of Parts of Line 3, Their Finest Hour. We are right now in 1945 August, 4th actually, and I've actually been thinking about doing some new things while we are at it, so I'm going to start the North Soviet Union, giving some spies, I'm going to disrupt their national unity. Should have done this a long time ago, but whatever. Also, I'm going to go over to UK and offer Lendies as well as uh, hmm. well the UK is like biggest besides us so I guess that should be good enough to offer them a Lendies and this stuff should be done in February 1946 <clears throat> and let's go Actually, all our divisions are super nice and stuff. Yeah, we have only tanks right now. <coughs> I mean, heavy armor divisions, so they're like super really tough units. I'm gonna speed it up just a little bit. And do I have to? Hang on. I have to select the first army group. I'm gonna be transporting this to the side over here, to that province. First army group. Also gonna do the same thing. <clears throat> I'm gonna strategically redeploy it over there, for example. From there, we'll just redeploy stuff everywhere. Now we got radar station. But we already have some radar stations over here. Europe, so I guess we could place some over here. Uh, what province would be a good place to do it on? Probably this, actually. There we go, it's down to le up to level 10 right now, actually. We're gonna put more into lendings. Yeah, we're just putting everything. Well, not really everything, but you know what I mean. Now we can prioritize upgrades. Gotta make sure that we don't lose everything to rebels over here. That would be bad. That's not something we planned on doing. But we do have to send some units over here to make sure that the Soviets don't really push through. Funnily enough, they're using tanks on this side, and that's like the weirdest thing ever. Tanks are quite bad in uh, such terrain. But oh well. <clears throat> that's how they want to be, right? And then we send stuff to the east. That's the number one thing that we have to do. DPs first, then everything else. Akiton and then Sapporo. Hmm, it should be almost the number that we want. Then these from Soviets. <laughs> no, thank you. Hmm, actually, I feel like I could distribute more. Like, uh, Let's do more like this. Yeah, we're getting 300. Which is good. Let's get up to 500 though. And I'm sure UK can build a lot with 500 KC. There we go. That should be decent. <clears throat> now we're just using a lot of resources though, so that could be a problem. Plus, as uh, long as we get enough to finish everything, we'll be, we'll be fine. It's fine. These things are just building up very quickly, so... Not using too much IC, but it's the heavy armor that's making us use a lot of IC. Which we'll get rid of very soon. I mean, we won't need to make more. Very soon. Um, hmm. We got garrisons over here. Wait, we have transport ships? No. 
Where the transport is. Oh, oh here actually. No, we got carriers, so no. The transport still are where we wanted them to. And yeah, this is uh, British territory. <clears throat> so we could be making more, could be placing units over here, but they have decided not to. Check out the map mode of infrastructure. Yeah, the infrastructure here is like terrible, so there's only so many places they can attack us from. Which is decent. I mean, we, we can place some of our. I mean, we can rebase our stuff over here. Or just transport, whatever. But I, I actually rather. Where's that fleet? There it is. I'm gonna rebase it over here. You better just do that instead. Now, is there anything else? What can we do? Yeah, we have our units over there. Gonna have to wait for February of next year though. And then we'll make like a huge push over here. And Norway isn't an ally, is it? Oh no, it is. This is bad. Because Soviets could like totally destroy Norway. But even if they do that, like. Wait, is Sweden? I don't know, that's good. Because we don't want the Soviets to conquer Sweden. Poland is in a. Uh, I mean, he's, it's a content member, you can see. So we should be able to take care of them though. I mean, they do have a lot of troops, but. We have better troops. We have insanely good troops. <clears throat> but now if I were uh, Soviets, I would just give up. Because I don't think they have much of a chance, to be honest. And actually, like, if we wanted to be mean, we could take out Mexico, but... <coughs> I mean... What's the point of doing that? Oh, are we spending points in espionage? No, we're not. That's foolish. Gotta spend some officers. Ah, we got too many. We made way too many officers, I think. Uh, well, looks like these guys are gonna help us out, actually. Yugoslavia is with us, isn't it? Yes, it's an ally member. They might get screwed over by Soviets, but whatever. <clears throat> we got lots of garrisons over here, so we can use those. Just send them over here, actually, and then like uh, when they've deployed there. Wow, look, we've already got zero energy. <laughs> That's so funny. How fast we use that. It was just insane. Some of them here, some of them here, some of them there, there, there. Yeah, we have a lot of problems with the cover. Of course, we got the Paris. That's a necessity. There's no question about that. How many are not moving? Quite a lot, it seems. Still got a couple to send over. Defend everything. <clears throat> so send it from there to Amsterdam. Let me just check something real quick. See the officers. Yeah, garrisons don't need officers, and this is why we made them instead of infantry. I mean, they don't need many officers. <clears throat> so, yeah, didn't want to use more IC on leadership, and they just do their job fine. Doesn't matter. Now for the other things. Let's see, what can we send? We have units coming all over the place over there. 
Yeah, we should say units to these provinces. And then like the German border. Well, first of all, we gotta send them to Berlin. There's like no question. We're gonna send more garrisons over to make sure that we don't lose some uh, provinces awkwardly. Some neighbor provinces, I mean uh, provinces with ports, that's never a good idea to lose them. <clears throat> and actually we do want to send some over here to Italy. Would be a good idea. I think. Uh, I still have lots of uh, provinces to deal with. <clears throat> I'm speed it down a little bit so I get more time to react. Over here. Over there. So I speed it up a little bit so all these guys go over to where they're supposed to go. We go and we only have a couple left. <clears throat> Where's everyone going? Actually, we can send like one over there. Good idea. Hmm. Still send some more. Oh, there's just a lot of stuff to take care of. <clears throat> We gotta send more over here as well. Oh, I'm just in shock how much stuff there is to actually defend. <clears throat> we gotta send some over there too as well. There's no question about that. Really need to defend everything in case they start like a naval weird naval invasion that we didn't expect. We defend that air base too, I suppose. Um, strategic grid deploy garrison over there, because why not? Over here. <clears throat> Mexico is being awkward. Stopping our trades. Hmm. I could send one garrison over there. We still have so many garrisons. This is this is funny, to say the least. <clears throat> we could keep some over here in Paris. Not Paris, but France. I need send some more over there too. So why not keep some in their land in Belgium? How many more do we have to deploy? Entire... Oh, not that many actually. I don't know where to deploy them. Yes, our heavy armor is just getting better. Better and better. So you now if you click on Axis, there's still actually some Axis countries that we're at war with. And because of that, we have. Uh, no, actually, Germany doesn't exist in it, as far as I know. Uh, I'm just gonna send more units to places. And we should be running out of uh, garrisons any time now. I guess we have like just a couple more to deploy. There we go. I think this is should be it. Yeah, we don't have any more garrisons. That's good. <clears throat> but do we have any more in the USA? No, we do not. Actually, we do. I forgot about those. 
Now where's the transports? There they are. Come over here and get repaced. Yes, I just can't wait for those heavy armor divisions that can help out quite a bit. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I should see you in the next episode. And remember to subscribe if you like the video.